Sault Ste. Marie's Safe Communities Partnership has launched an online game designed to teach children about everyday hazards and steps they can take to be safe. The game features a virtual village complete with safety hazards in the home and on the street. Sure, this is a, the official launch of the uh, Virtual Safety Village and we're taking an opportunity now to show it to a few kids and uh, let them actually uh, play with it and uh, work through the, through the game and hopefully learn a little bit about safety in various ways, electrical safety and fire safety and uh, bicycle safety, pedestrian and uh, it's kind of neat because it challenges the uh, uh, the children to move through to get to other levels to move their way through. The online game is designed for children between the ages of 7 and 10. I think it's a good game to for them to learn different stuff about how to be safe at home and like safety rules and do what to do if like there's something wrong in your house. Like if there's like a hair dryer and the sink is full of water, you should drain the sink and turn off the hair dryer just so then it doesn't catch on fire or something. The game is relatively easy to play. The character identifies safety hazards throughout the home. Um, you start in one room and you progress to each room, but you can't leave your room until you've identified every safety hazard. For instance, there's four hazards within the bedroom, and until you've solved all of those hazards, you can't move into the bathroom, then to the kitchen, and there's four uh, safety hazards in the kitchen as well. Once we've solved all the problems in the house, there's also a living room that has some problems as well. Um, you move into the garage, and that's where we're introduced to bicycle safety. And once we've uh, progressed past the garage, we start cycling along the street. There are safety issues there. We come across a crossing guard, whose name is Maggie, who's actually named after one of our local crossing guards who will instruct on um, hand signals and how to safely cycle through the community. Um, there's different characters that we meet as we proceed through the city. Um, and there is some interaction with the train, there's a train crossing, um, and you know there's cautions as to not interfere with the train. Um, and then, then you end up in the firehouse. And uh, within bricks and mortar, um, safety villages in southern Ontario, there are these smoky houses and we've recreated that in a virtual sense. So um, it fills with smoke and the character needs to solve that problem and get out safely. The game can be found online at www.virtualsafetyvillage.ca. For Shaw TV, I'm Tony Tullibracci.